1984, Roxanne Quimby was a single mother and struggling artist who would move there to live the simple life, sleeping in a cabin without running water or electricity. She might still be in that cabin if she hadn't met a beekeeper named Bert. He was known as Bert the Bee Man. There he was with a beard, you know, that was never trimmed, and he was selling honey by the side of the road in gallon containers. Roxanne looked at that honey and beeswax and knew somehow, some way, she could turn it into gold. We struck up a partnership that depended on my artistic talent for packaging and making labels and signs and his ability to keep bees and produce thousands of pounds of honey in a season and beeswax. The obvious first choice was candles. Once I got beyond the $20,000 a year goal, I, I thought, okay, this has wings, right? Just like the bees, I could make this fly. Before long, Bert's Bees was buzzing, doing three million a year in sales. Roxanne kept tinkering. Sometimes the most inventive, creative ideas come out of accidents, serendipity, who knows where they come from. They just kind of fly in and, whoa, let's try that. And one of those was lip balm. That was the pivotal product. I had a little recipe with beeswax and oil and some peppermint and heated it up on a saucepan and put it in a little metal pouring cup. Roxanne realized that to grow Burt's Bees, she'd have to leave Maine. So in 1994, she set up shop in North Carolina. Our first engineer started building lines so that our little lip balms could be filled without the kettles. Just put that little filler a little faster and the conveyor belt a little faster, and that's called ramping up. Burt's Bees expanded into other natural products, all with Burt's authentic mug on the label. If we can put a face like this, this bearded hippie, on your beauty product. It's got to be good, right? It's got to be a good product. In 1999, Roxanne bought out Burt's 30 percent share. He returned to Maine, but his name and face remained on more than 150 skincare products, with more than 50 million in sales. And I put myself so much into it, I think I was starting to feel a little bit of burnout. So at that point, I decided to look around for the exit door. Well, here's one more. This she is found it. In 2003, Roxanne file. Quimby decided to sell 80% of Burt's Bees. Her payday was sweet as honey, $177 million. The way to make a million